So what's up with GSOW not putting the correct birthplace for Lou Elizondo? I got this question a bunch on X, and only some of you watching this video will understand the reason for this question, but that, that's fine. The answer is informative, even if you don't know why it was asked. First off, drop your accusatory attitude. There's always more to the story than what you read on social media. I wrote the Lewis Elizondo Wikipedia article, and when I wrote it, I used reliable sources. I used this article from the Sarasota Herald Time Tribune, which said that he was born in Florida. I didn't question that. It's reasonable. Many people are born in Florida. Wikipedia editors aren't allowed to do original research. That's the job of the reliable source. That's their job. So I wrote the Wikipedia article that he was born in Florida. Then when Elizondo noticed the Wikipedia article, he noticed this was incorrect and he said it was wrong. He was born in Texas and told his social media followers. And then they started vandalizing the Wikipedia article trying to change it from Florida to Texas for his birthplace. And Wikipedia doesn't work that way. We need a reliable source to give us a different birthplace. We can, just can't take the word of some random people doing nothing more than making the change over and over. Editors don't go over to social media to see what Lou Elizondo says about these things. That would, that would be doing research and Wikipedia editors are not allowed to do original research. We had a perfectly good viable source saying he was born in Florida. Each time someone made the change, it was reverted. And then the editor asked, editors asked for a reliable source for the change, and they didn't have one. They said, Luz Elizondo said so. <laughs> and they grew frustrated with Wikipedia. And then editors grew frustrated with these people who looked like they were just doing vandalism. Everybody was unhappy. This went on for months. I saw messages that said that Elizondo was going to send a redacted birth certificate to Wikipedia to prove his birthplace. I mean, what in the world? Who who would he send it to? <laughs> there isn't there isn't a place to do that. You don't go to a store somewhere and walk up or go to a drive up and I mean, where would he send it? <laughs> and what would that mean? How would they verify that it was really Elizondo sending the certificate? And, and if it was redacted and they sent it over the internet, how would this theoretical Wikipedia editor know it was a, if it was a fake certificate or not? And does Elizondo really want his birth certificate floating around social media redacted or not? I mean, seriously, people think. Finally, a Wikipedia editor changed the article to say he was born in the United States. USA, no state was mentioned, and a message was put on the talk page saying, when you finally come up with a reliable source with something different, somebody post a link to it here on the talk page. I don't know who finally managed it, but on X, someone posted this news alert. Here it is. So extra, extra, read all about it. Luz Elizondo's birthplace is Texas, not Florida. Per the same source, Sarasota Herald Tribune, born in Texas. Okay, so it goes on. It needs corrected in Luis Elizondo's Wikipedia bio. Any editor should be able to fix the correction given the same source article by the same Sarasota Herald Times Tribune. Texas, not Florida. The only reliable source accepted by GSOW editors to establish his birth date. No, it wasn't the only one, but it was, we were kept asking for one. And then he says, per a DSW editor, it was not per a DSW editor. It was just a regular editor. If you can find a reliable source that we've overlooked, we'd be happy to try and update the article. Okay. And then he goes on about these over, over detail, way too much detail, including tagging all these people and myself and um, Luz Elizondo and just tons of people. Even Wikipedia got tagged. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, whatever. Put it on the talk page and we'll take care of it. No, you put it on X and then just made it like it was some sort of breaking news had just hit. Okay. I happened to look at X, 
which I don't do all that often. And I noticed it and I read the Herald Tribune and I saw that the only change made was to the birthplace. And this is called journalistic integrity. When the when the news uh, paper realized that it was incorrect, somebody, probably Luz Elizondo, had to call the reporter and say, fix this. When they made the change, then they got something wrong, and then the Herald was able to fix it. That's a reliable source. That's perfect, okay? I went and read the article, and I changed the Wikipedia article to be Texas. Okay, so you can see now it says the article is exactly the same, born in Texas, and he moved to Florida around 1975. When I left the change on the Wikipedia article, I just said, I'm making the change because the Herald Tribune has corrected their, their mistake, not Wikipedia or Susan Gerbic's mistake, their mistake. So I also went to the talk page and said, hey, I have fixed this now that the, um, the newspaper has fixed it and I've corrected the Wikipedia article. It has a good source and has a good citation. It's done. All right. It's done. <laughs> I went to the back to X to the breaking news announcement and I let these concerned people know it was all done. And that that is all. And as you can and as you can see now, the Wikipedia article says he was born in Texas, born in Texas. His family moved to Sarasota around 1975, which is what the article says. So fixed, done, perfect. So how should this have been handled? Because it was not handled well. It was, it was, it was just, people were so upset. I mean, the vile things they said about me about GSOW, about Wikipedia was incredible. And all of this could have been handled correctly if they had just understood that the newspaper article was incorrect and either gave us another article or he could have said something in the, um, in the next interview he did with a reliable source. I mean, the guys in the news quite often, he could have just said, hey, FYI reporter, please print this. I was born in Texas. And when I was a child, I moved to Florida. And then they could have sent us the link and that would have been fine. No. Mm -mm. So it could have also been handled like this. And when you, when you go to Wikipedia, there's a talk section. There's a talk button. You just click on the talk button and he could have left a message on there saying, hey, here is what's going on. And just politely have said something, but it wasn't never polite. And uh, Wikipedia is, we're all humans. We're not going to put up with that. It just, no. So I do have a video out on what you should do when the information is incorrect on your Wikipedia page. So see that video. So I hope this answers your question. If not, please send a more detailed message to gsowteam at gmail.com or leave a detailed comment underneath this video. Thank you. And please like, subscribe, and share this video.